Hey, welcome to our concert, our last concert of this academic year. Uh, this is the concert where we have a little less time to prepare than the other concerts. So the program will be a little bit shorter than it usually is. So it'll be short and sweet tonight. We'll have you out of here in no time. Uh, but that was uh, Jambo Karibu Pa Africa, which is Swahili for welcome, welcome to Africa. That's kind of, kind of a welcoming song. Uh, that was a lot of fun to prepare. We're going to continue now. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, before we continue, uh, I just want to remind you to make sure that you silence your cell phones or anything else that might make a noise. We want to be sure we do that. Uh, we don't want it to go off in the middle of a song and be disturbed by people around you or perhaps the performers on stage. Uh, and if you do need to uh, get up, uh, try to do it between songs and do it very quietly, I would appreciate that very much. We're going to continue now with a beautiful arrangement called Jazz a la Luna.
now with an arrangement of an American folk song called When You Go A Court.
fun. Uh, and also teach the students a little bit about jazz, about what vocal jazz is. And, and uh, it's an important, actually an important American musical art form, if you ask me. Uh, something that's very interesting and has a lot of wonderful musicians in, in its history. And vocal jazz particularly has uh, grown in the last couple of generations, particularly uh, in, in the United States. And it's now quite prevalent. You can find vocal jazz groups all over the place. So collegiate, high school, all over the country. There's, there's lots of vocal jazz going on. It's very exciting for people that are interested in that. Um, the next uh, tune is an arrangement of a Billy Joel tune called And So It Goes. And it's actually uh, a poem that he wrote initially uh, in, gosh, it might have been the 80s. I forget. Um, and it was, uh, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a heartbreak song. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, he wrote it in response to a breakup that he had with uh, his girlfriend at that time, who was some supermodel. I forget which one. Uh, the name Ellen McPherson comes to mind, but I think that might have been his girlfriend after that. Maybe somebody knows. Christy Brinkley. Brinkley, that's it. Thank you. And so anyway, and then only later did he make it into a song. It was a poem originally. And then I think maybe some, some several years later, he made it into a song and recorded it. Of course, it was quite popular. And now we have a, a nice vocal arrangement of his song. And so it goes. Thank you. 
joys of the teaching is that sometimes you get to see and work with students uh, who are former students uh, who are out there in the community as musicians. And Michael Spinks is one of those people. Uh, he's a former student of ours and is a, a wonderful musician, a organist and pianist, and you were an organist at St. Francis School, St. Francis School, Peter Springs, and he's a wonderful flutist as well, or some people say flautist. And he's going to accompany us uh, as well as Mrs. Parker on the next tune. It's an old gospel tune called Here's One.
is a very short, pretty little arrangement of a classic Irish blessing. May the road rise to meet you, may the wind be always at your back. The sun shine warm upon your face, and the rain falls soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. It's an old Irish blessing. Thank you. 